What is going on, y'all? Hope everyone's having a great day. I figured I'd take you through a tour of my KRSE 430. Starting off with the side. Keep a couple of bungees up here, some quick wax, which hasn't had that in a while because it's filthy right now. So, uh, razor blade disposal. I don't want to be throwing my razor blades in the trash and cutting up people down the line, trash workers or trash men, you know, sanitation workers, whatever you want to phrase it as. Couple funnels. And that's pretty much it for the outside of the box of the stickers from racing and whatnot. Uh, spent some time working on Rolex Sports Car Series race cars. Now I do uh, Champ Car and every once in a while WRL racing, which is fun. So something to get away from the normal. Um, starting with up top, it's a stainless split top. Keep my pen and paper up here. Uh, keep track of the days, write down what's going on in the shop. That way if my boss has any questions or have any questions, it's all right there. Some hand towels, Tech Life radio. I uh, hooked two of them up together currently. Apparently you could hook up to a hundred of them. They sound great. I, I've had them for what, four years? and they just keep thumping away so i'm very happy with those flashlights you can never have enough of those and then magnetic trays more flashlights neck lights and just an assortment of junk coming over here these are all snap on do not get me wrong in my other box i am not this bad with the snap on tools i've got everything teched in sonax um Craftsman. So it's an eclectic mix of stuff in the other toolbox. Uh, some ratchets. Once again, buy once or buy once, cry once. I've lost this on the back of a piece of equipment. Had to buy a duplicate. Not one of my finer moments in life, but it is what it is. After that, we have uh, this uh, FHLLX80, the new locking flex head. I am not a fan of it. I uh, pretty much just use it as a long-handled uh, flex head at this point because the locking mechanism for me, it's just terrible. Metric stuff on your right. Standard on your left. I got all my impact sockets and stuff in the other toolbox. This is just a, you know, run over to the next thing, get it done, and go back to work. So don't have everything I could possibly have in here, but it is what it is. Uh, paperwork, pens, and you know, normal junk. However, this little guy right here, the SunX kit, um, bought this when I was working on concrete trucks. Uh, we had tire boss inflation systems on them, and I found this to be extremely handy getting to the uh, inflate and deflate valves. So, picked that up, carried it on my service truck, and it's right out in the field, just like this easy redneck light. I mean, Working out in the dark at a plant. I mean, this thing just came in handy for doing whatever I was doing. PM services, repairs. Absolutely love this. On this side, magnets, mirrors. There's some green tea in here. Some lemon ginger tea. You know, random sockets and wrenches. Screwdrivers I bought extras of because I've lost them. And found them. So, yeah, there's that. Making our way down, wrenches, um, blue point ratcheting wrenches, snap on standards, stubbies, metric uh, snap ons, and gear wrench flex head line wrenches, which mainly bought those for my project truck, so I doubt I'll ever use them at the shop I'm working at, so it is what it is. Coming on down, screwdrivers, picks, terminal tools. Um, scraper. This is another uh, bit set. It's a sort of Vim. This is actually pretty decent. I've used it not as much as the Sun X one, but it comes in handy when it's needed. So uh, the scraper, I absolutely love this thing. I mean, I had at one point all the guys at the old shop I used to work at borrowing it all the time. And I truly impressed with this thing. There's a part number on it if any of y'all don't have it and you want to try something. It's pretty decent. Um, pocket screwdrivers always have to have 
tons of those laying around. Got a lot more in my other box. So yeah, that's about it for screwdriver and pick drawer. Coming down over the speed drawer, you know, tape, you know, various fluids, things of that nature, um, sealants, cookies, nothing too crazy. It's a speed drawer, so a bunch of expendable stuff. Pliers, <clears throat> standard operation over here. You know, nothing too fancy. I did have to get these snap ring pliers through snap on just because, well, I wanted to give those a try. I have the uh, Astros, and Astro makes phenomenal tools, but for some reason on the tips, I kept breaking them off. So I was like, oh, let's upgrade. So here we are on that. Use these a handful of times. I mean, I like them because they got the quick disconnect. So that's a plus, I guess. Uh, Nipex pliers, really wish I would have got those with the push buttons, but I got those in the bigger, bigger box, so that works out. This is just quick, get it done. Hammers, pry bars, you know, normal things. There's another scraper set in there. Normally I have a, I believe it's a 54 inch pry bar that sits on one side and a 20 pound sledgehammer on the other. Uh, I seem to use more than I'd like, but this is snap ones new. I believe it's a 56 ounce, and this thing just comes in handy. Love just beating the hell out of things with that. That's kind of fun. Um, if I open up the drawer, Erwin Hansen tap and die set. Which is pretty decent. Use that a handful of times. Uh, this Power Pro BCT 3000. This thing, it's an absolute delight working on like equipment trailers, finding uh, shorts and opens. Pretty decent kit. I definitely cannot complain about it one bit. Uh, it's a, another tool I'd recommend to anyone that looking, that's looking to buy something just because. It's definitely a decent one. Uh, various funnels, pullers. There's a tubing bender down here I went through Blue Point that I needed in a pinch, so that kind of worked out. Master uh, disconnects it set through Lyle, pulley pullers, um, there's a little side hammer kit and Calvin tools. This is uh, not too expensive and it's come in handy for the random things that I have to do, so. Yeah, that's pretty much it for the roll cart. So if you uh, like what you see and you want to see more, uh, let me know. Like, subscribe, do whatever you got to do. I mean, if not, it is what it is. No worries. And I uh, hope everyone has a great day and uh, keep on wrenching, y'all. Later.